What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and the big day is here. I'm so excited. I've got the Samsung Galaxy S9, and in person, it's a lot more striking than it seemed online. I honestly didn't think too much changed, but after handling it, this thing is very stunning. It's got a lot of refinements that I definitely do appreciate. So the chin is now a little bit smaller. The phone size is a little bit more compact, smaller versus the S8 series. It's got this matte paint job on the side. It all around just, it's full of these refinements that makes you appreciate what Galaxy does, or Samsung does with their Galaxy. Galaxy phones. So in this video, I wanted to test how the durability stands up against Apple's iPhone 10, which on my channel did quite well in the past. Believe it or not, the S9 is much more durable versus the S8. It's got 20% thicker glass. It's using an aluminum 7000 series on the border, which disperses shock 1.2 times better versus the S8 away from the display. So those adjustments should actually make this thing a beast when it comes to durability. We'll test it out at various heights, dropping them on their back, side, and face. And really, I mean, these are phones made of glass and metal. How durable can they possibly be? You don't wanna use them without a case, but in those rare situations, when it does happen, when you drop them, can you rely on the durability of these phones and which one is better in a little healthy competition? So let's go ahead and test it out. Samsung's all new beast, the S9 Plus versus Apple's iPhone 10, which again, did very well on this channel. This one's using stainless steel and Apple's most durable glass ever on a smartphone. All right, so let's go ahead and start guys. These are all perfectly working. This is the all new S9 series. So we're ready to begin and we're gonna start from three feet onto the side. All right guys, so we are ready to roll. These are both in a good physical shape except for some slight water damage. Uh, we just did our water test so you might see some glitching on the screen and stuff like that. But otherwise they are untouched physically. So we're testing the durability of the materials uh, with this video. All right, so I'm gonna go first with the iPhone 10. This is a waist height, about three foot side impact because you really never know. These things happen all the time in three, two, one. Oh, I think that's all right. Yeah, still working just fine. All right, set that aside. And this guy in three, two, one. Oh. All right, still on, no cracks. Um, scuffage. So this is aluminum, and you're gonna notice that it is gonna be a lot more damaged versus stainless steel. There is literally like nothing. A little tiny scuff, and you can almost wipe it off. That's crazy. It's impressive how durable the stainless steel is, but you definitely see the drops on the aluminum almost right away. So quite a difference between those. All right, so uh, next up, we're gonna do a back impact here. Again, this is thicker glass, 20% thicker than before. This one is Apple's most durable glass they've ever had on a smartphone. Put it to the test here. Rear impact in three, two, one. Ouch, I can see it has survived, it's all right. Front is still good, cool. All right, have this guy. All right, it's rear impact here in three, two, one. Oh, uh, it is good. It has survived. Perfect. So both of these still in good shape. The glass can tolerate a regular fall. All right, let's do a front impact here. All right, so front facing, these are all glass, nothing in the way, no home buttons, nothing like that. So really quite a fair test when it comes to these two. There we go. Three, two, one. Uh, very good, holding up marvelously. All right, and the Galaxy, here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, very good. Also working, still on, cool. So uh, there is the Galaxy S9, and both of these from the uh, waist height drop did very well. So I'm quite impressed with these two. All right, so let's step it up to head height. This is the second, I guess, highest area that you'd possibly use your phone at and uh, approximately five feet or so. So about head height drop on the side, iPhone 10, three, two, one. Ooh, that hurts. It's 
so that one kind of slipped and uh, hit it right here on the glass. Did not shatter. Front still working. Very impressed with the stainless steel. It's literally flawless. It looks really, really good. I'm surprised. All right, and uh, this guy, same test. So uh, here we go. Head height in three, two, one. Oh. All right, it shocked it into working here. So uh, it will be intermittent, again I said, but look at that, ooh, flattened it. Oh no, yeah, so that was it. On the back, um, it did actually dent the metal and you can see it's uh, curved, curved, and then here it just flattened it right into the glass. And as a result, it transferred into the glass. So that aluminum, although is durable, it did not disperse the energy necessary in order for this to not crack. Still though, again, it is pretty usable for galaxies. The glass doesn't stick out right away and cut you. You can still use your phone, even though it is cracked, till you get it repaired, that is. Front's still good, so we can continue. Uh, there's no point for the back here anymore as it is cracked, but let's see uh, on the back, about head height, will that crack the iPhone 10? Three, two, one. Ooh. I kind of fell on the side, oh, and uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, that's about what it took for both of them to crack the backs. Wow, and this one is super jagged actually. I cut myself if I drag my finger on that. Otherwise over here, pretty good. Man, that sucks. So both of these are cracked already, and uh, let's go ahead and do the fronts now. All right, so continuing on to the front facing, uh, and this is from head height. Man, I'm so nervous. Let's do the iPhone 10 first here in three, two, one. Oof, man. I saw glass flying up. And yeah, that did it. So the iPhone 10 this time around, on my last test didn't do it like this, but this time around did crack on the front, head height. A little disappointing, but hey, there are the results. That's what it took. <laughs> Damn, this thing is totaled. So definitely don't wanna be dropping this thing. It will be cracking from anything above waist height. And uh, the Samsung Galaxy S9. So same deal, head height here in three, two, one. Oh, that was so loud. And it has been totaled. So completely cracked here. Yeah, and no spider web, but yeah, still pretty smooth, I'd say. And uh, overall, the shape of these phones, pretty similar after both of these tests. Backs are cracked, fronts are cracked, um, but still, you know, they did pretty well. They went above and beyond what you would need out of a phone without a case. Of course, you should use your phone with a case. You don't wanna put it at risk of falling like this. That's crazy. And I expected a little bit more out of this, especially since it's supposed to be way more durable, but uh, yeah, that's what we got. So gotta be happy with that, I guess. All right, just for fun, let's finish this thing off. It's still working pretty well after a dunk and all these drops, it is cracked, but reliably still working surprisingly. So let's just have some fun with it, see how long it can go until being totaled completely and get some cool footage maybe of it greeting the ground. All right, so uh, let's get a ladder here. 10 feet about. All right, so let's click record, get some crisp video on the way down to the ground. But here we go in three, two, one. Ooh, I don't know how, but this display is still working. So that was one. Another round here, front facing. Oh, the back is demolished. All right, oh, front facing camera doesn't really work. It is completely blurry. All right, so I guess front facing won't work, but in three, two, one. Oh, fragments. Still working though, somehow. Round two, starting to see the internals here. All right, let's send it down for another. All right, somehow still working. Three, 
two, one. Okay, this is purely unscientific, nothing to learn from this. I just wanna see, but still responding. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Truly the most durable indeed. It's like lifting off, completely shattered. Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, and that finally did it. All right, so uh, now you can't see anything. Oh, a little bit over there, cool. So other than that, <laughs> that was pretty fun. Took four drops from about 10 feet to finally do the display in. Wow, this thing is crazy resilient. All right, so what did we learn from this video? Well, we learned you should probably use a case with your phone. Both did very well at waist height once we started getting higher. Well, besides the S9 with the back, but once we started getting higher, that's when things you know got a little bit more interesting, but we could see that the iPhone 10 was a little bit more resistant to the actual drops. Oh man, it's actually, the digitizer is still working here. You can see I'm able to bring that up, that's crazy. But yeah, this guy's a little bit more resistant to drops and still works longer after being exposed to the drop. The one thing I will tell you is look at that frame. It is absolutely flawless. After all of that abuse, that's the only part of this phone that looks brand new. So Apple did something fantastic with the stainless steel band. You know, you can definitely see that it puts up with a ton of abuse. This guy over here is battered, scratched, you know, it is painted as well. I believe this one is using some sort of anodization process, but uh, definitely the metal goes to the stainless steel. Glass-wise, Apple maybe has a slight advantage. They're very, very close here, but this thing held together very, very well. I can tell it is still working. It's just display's not turning on. The 3D touch though is working. There it is, guys. Definitely use a case with your phones, but if you wanted to use it naked and needed a more durable phone, the iPhone 10 is slightly more so, but Man, I love this phone, it's seriously super impressive. Uh, stay tuned for the water test, guys. That was gonna be a lot of fun. Peace.